this is a harvesting video, but this is not just any harvest. I'm going through looking at my containers, trying to find all the color loose. My mother's favorite, and like these, we're not gonna let them get big. They get tall and big, but we have so much of them that right now I'm just going through and taking the ones out of the containers. Because if you allow them to stay in the containers, they will dominate the container. So, I'm going around and cut all this color loo or amaranth. These are green. So I'm just, and they grow anywhere. So my goal is to get them out today. And free some space up in the containers for the other things in those containers to grow. I thought there was some in it, but I got some out last week. This is my nectarine. And it's doing good. Some of the leaves, I don't know why it's curling. But I, look at this, the stalk that came. I thought it was dead. So I was surprised when it started shooting up. Anyway, bottom of this. I didn't know, I didn't think it was going to survive, tell you the truth. It was so brown. So I planted a lot of stuff in this container because it was such a big container. I didn't plant a color loop. They come up on their own every year. What I did was plant it. If you can see, I have carrots in here. I planted those carrots because I was so sure that the container and the carrots, I was so sure that the container was, the, I was so sure that the nectarine was dead. Whoops. I'm trying to cut the nectarine, I mean the nectarine. I'm trying to cut the color loop at the stem close to the soil so it won't grow back. But at the same time, I don't want to um, anything that's in there with it. So anyway, what I was saying was, I planted the color loop. I mean the, gosh. I planted the carrots in here because I thought the nectarine was going to die. My stuff for the squirrels. So imagine my surprise. I also planted um, the march or the corn salad. So I bought three of them in here because I didn't expect, I keep saying the same thing. I didn't expect the nectarine to make it. So I planted all this stuff in here. So now everything is coming up. So I'm just trying to help nectarine to make it. Give it all the space it's supposed to have. And at the same time, harvesting everything out of it. Like I said, I'm cutting this close to the soil. Because if you snip it at the top, it will grow back. It will just grow out to the side. big guy right here. It's a big one right here. And there's everything in this container. There's another one in there, but it's small, so I'll just wait until it comes up. And there's a weed over here, too. These things grow everywhere. So, let me keep on moving. Look here. My first big zucchini for the season. I think I'm gonna go inside and look for some neem oil and spray the stem. Because I normally I get a nice harvest every year. And then they just die because you know the squash the what do you call it? The squash bug or what do you call it? The vine borer. Yeah, it kills it every year. Just small ones. So I'm gonna, when I go inside, I'm gonna check it out and see if I have any neem oil or can I get some in a couple of days. And see if I can try proactive this year and save. Try to be proactive and save my squash for a little bit longer. These big guys right here. Let them stay here too long, they take over. These guys are big, so. And I'm cutting them at the bottom because if I cut them halfway, they will come back. I'm 
just cut the big ones and give the small ones a chance to come up and then since like I said they come up on their oops, they come up on their own every year so I cut all the big ones out the small all the little tiny ones will get a chance to come up and we just keep on harvesting for the season this is right here by Friday by Friday this is huge but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it she can freeze some okay so I have more in the back but I'm not gonna have you go with me all the way so I'll show you what I get I'm trying to see is that cool or loads of pepper I'm trying to um yeah look at this nice fat one it's with the garlic and my garlic is another video because I think I need to dig these things up um, maybe I'll leave this there and make it get bigger that I can just pick off the branches on the sides yeah since the garlic is gonna come out anyway I'm gonna let them keep that container look at this right here this are peppers with so much color Luna you can find this little pepper he's never making it he has nowhere to go so I'm gonna cut just cut a few out well actually you know what it's not a lot in there to cut it because they're still smaller so I'm gonna give these unfortunately I'm gonna give them another day I mean a couple more days or so and then I cut them out and um I know it's gonna it's not helping the pepper at all. But I might have to find which I didn't cut any I miss. I might have to find somewhere else to put the pepper. Because there's a lot of pepper. But when I planted them, they were so scrawny. You know, you didn't expect them to do too good or too much. Too many stuff in this container. And I um, can hear the, the movie my neighbor is playing right there. So, more likely, I'm gonna take some of the sound over this so you don't pick up that movie. Look at that. That's all color loop coming out. Oh, you don't, like I said, you don't have to plant it, it comes up on its own. Oh, if you plant one time, it's dead like the chives. They like the garlic chives for my garlic chives. I planted one time and I have garlic chives everywhere. And these guys right here. So, oh, there's two of them right here. I'm gonna take them out because my tomato. <coughs> Sorry about that. There's another, look at the big one in the back. I must miss that. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish harvesting and I think I'm gonna do some beans also while I'm doing it. Look here. And then I'm gonna, I'll come back afterwards. Be right back. <laughs> 